pray for your children. Pray for your children. Pray for your even for your grandchildren. We never see. We never see. Begin to pray. Begin to bank bank the prayer for them. So that when by the time when they come, you don't speak a lot of word, a lot of prayer. You don't speak a lot of because pray as I was saying in one of the before just a few minutes ago. Some of us shout. Some of us talk quiet, some of us pray gentle, some of us make a lot of noise when we pray. Some of us even sometimes we make so much noise to the extent we disturb everybody with our prayer. To the extent some people say we don't even like to, be, to pray when they see us pray. But again, that is how you want to pray, but be mindful. You know, be mindful. Like one person told me one day, I think one of my sons, one of my sons said, Mom, the way they pray in that church is like God is deaf. Is God deaf? <laughs> this is a post of my son. <laughs> he said, God, they've got on a year. And I said, I said, that is how they worship. That is how they want to worship. Why some people will just need that and remain calm. But the thing is that meditate on the word of God. Invest time. Seek other people's help, as I was say, I said earlier on. Consider uh, your so consider the, the the circumstances that you might find yourself. You know, sometimes when it comes to decision making, remember if you are in the will of God and you have prayed and you have seen God, you are carrying it to God. You have also speak to spoken. You don't talk to your mentor, your spiritual, uh, or you don't. You, you know, sometimes it not be say they give you all those advice. You go take all of them, but you, as you don't get them, you follow the word of God. You that's why thank God for the spirit of discernment. You discern. The spirit of God is truth, but you just need to be in the spirit and walk in the spirit and walk, stay in the way, stay in your lane. You know, everything we do in this world, you need to take action on it. Staying on the, hanging on the things, staying on the things will not help you, is to discover your will. Discover the will of God for you. What is the will of God for me when it comes to what I'm doing now? The will of God for me is it to have a church? The will of God for me is it to is it for me to do this? The will of God for me is it for me to to every day fetch water and be serving people? It's my it's out of service. What what am I here for? What God has created me for? Do I just find myself on this planet just to eat and sleep? And um, and uh, pick um, yeah. Bumi uh, said, "Be sensitive in the spirit." Yes, you. We have to. Everyone. If, if the Holy Spirit speaks to us all the time, but most people just too much noise. They don't hear. Very, mo, many. In fact, there are so many things that so many troubles that most of us would have not fall into. So many. If you know how God has saved so many of us. For not for not dying, uh, dying before our time. God's will for you is not to for you to die before your time. God's will for you is not for you to be poor. God's will for you is not God's will. Say His will for His His thought. Everything about God is good for us, but because of our mind, our stubbornness, our, our ways. It makes some time, most times, we fall into places where we are not supposed to find ourselves. If the Holy Spirit is telling you, run. If the Spirit of God is telling you, this person you are going to face is a strong man, run. And you said, because I believe in the Bible, I believe the God I'm serving is greater. And you are going to face the man and they kill you. You just die. Many times, the Holy Spirit tells people to run. Even less, or let's just think this one. I don't know whether I'm deviating a bit, but let me just say this one. Why do you think the time where be same Pharaoh they look for where they look for Jesus Christ? When now things say go in a particular period, where they where, where you go? Why why you stay away? He thinks they not get power to command angels to destroy the whole of those that kingdom that time. He has the power. But no, the will of God for it took a break. He stayed, even some, there's a place I studied, he stayed in the cave, cave. Because he was not ready, ready yet. He was there preparing. 
So some of us, they will be saying, the Holy Spirit will tell you, say, this person where you all fight now, where this fight, this fight is not your fight. Leave it for me, but pull back. Pull back and get prepared and come back. Some of us will follow because we carry these things. Uh, yeah, I know God. I have the God I serve is strong. The God I, you are just, some of us just make noise, noise, noise. The Holy Spirit has told you, pull back. It's not a sign of weakness, no. It's not a sign of wicked. It's saying, pull back because you are not ready. I want to prepare you. Prepare you for a greater thing. Stay quiet. I have made a mistake like this before. I announced something too early and I was not prepared. When, this, when the arrows and the Satan bombarded it, I was not even prepared. My spiritual muscles were too small. So, but do I say it was not God's will for me? Yeah, God's will supported me, but it was not God's will for that time. But because I was very zealous, I was really very... Uh, in fact, the, the way I see things, I need to go out and tell everybody. I can go into this. The way I felt that I can go into the kingdom of Satan and convert even Satan himself to God. That is how I feel. On top, I go pop TV channel. Business matter, religious matter.